Well, folks, I uh, got to hook up my other BMS to my third battery there. I have it with the other two right now. And I've opened up my BMS, which I thought was exactly the same. But it's totally different than this one over here. Seems to be different wiring. This harness here plugs into that, but then the wires are left open and there's no place. There's no, I have to take, I think I have to take the top off of this and solder them to the board. And of course there's no instructions, right? I think these here are uh, temperature probes. That's the wiring harness for the for the series connection. They all plug in here somewhere. I'll have to figure that out too. These all plug in the front here and, and the other one plugs in over there. One plugs in the end. Totally different board. And then my uh, my short to start it up has no wires. So I'm left to uh, do some investigating. I'll have to get back to you. Thanks for watching. Yeah, a little further investigation, I think. Those temperature wires go on these wires here one at a time. There's four of them. There's four of those, and that plugs into there. The plug-ins are the uh, plug-ins are pretty well. I'll say idiot-proof, but maybe not, because uh, you know they only plug in to certain areas. So I would say that those four are probably temperature, and then this little guy goes across these two. It's only a two-wire deal, right? And that's the only one with two wires on it, so I would suspect that. And the four colored wires, you know, they match the same color as those. So that could be my video feed on this end here. Sort of makes sense. Black, red, green, and yellow. Black, red, green, and yellow. Solder this to that. That's my power feed over there. Haven't gone to look it up yet, but I'm just trying to think my way through this, and that seems to be the way. Now, any other one, you would have your, your uh, 1 to 12 S here, and then your power supply at the very end of that. That all seems doable, but the, the uh, series wires are pretty short. They're only like 16 inches, and I need like 20-some inches. So I might have to do something different there. One of my subscribers asked me to do a breakdown of this thing, and that's what started to prompt this. And I uh, haven't even looked at the Chinese directions yet, which there wasn't any in the box. So I have to go on the net to figure that out. But so far, you know, things only go together one way most... Well, you can put them together wrong, but if you think it through, I think, I think that's what they meant. I'll go and look it up and see. Yeah, how, how, how bad can it be? <laughs> bad. No smoke is what I'm looking for. <laughs> Morning YouTube. Nice winter day. Beauty. Still lots of snow here in Canada. But, you know, it's coming. It's coming. So I, uh, I haven't been able to keep up to my one grid tie going there 24 hours a day with, with just the one array so I decided to convert both of these to 39 volt array so I got 2400 watts on this one and 2215 on that one so with the two of them there I can't 
charge my battery over 50 amps because my BMS shuts it down at 50 amps. So I've added another BMS to. So now I can charge at 100 amps. And uh, they're a bit different in voltage at times. I don't know. It's going to take a while to balance them out, but uh, I got it close. It says right now it shows a tenth out, but in a minute it might be even again. So it's, we're within a half a volt, depends on if it's up or down. And the balance is pretty close on each one. This one's uh, 29 and 31, and this one's. 26 and 28 26 and 28 29 31 so we're awful close there it's tough to get everything perfect the two balancer the two uh, midnights are on the same voltage I've come across this um, chart on the internet I decided I better some people have been asking about the settings for the BMS. This one shows uh, your typical settings. I don't use exactly these on my uh, Life Pro 4, but I use, I set in my BMS, I set it to Life Pro 4 first, and then it'll give you these default settings, and then I adjust some of them to what I want or what I think I want. There's a page two here. Now, I'm not saying these are gospel, but uh, it's a darn good start for anybody that's trying to set up the BMS. And uh, they all work, of course. I don't like mine quite that high. I go down to 355. But anyway, it's, uh, it's a good chart. Uh, I can try and put a picture in later, but right now I just did that. So, with the three batteries, that's two there and one behind the plywood, let's see how many amps we can bump into her. I was down below 50% this morning, and now I'm at 55, 55%. And I'm charging there 33, 33, so 66 amps going in there right now. I could even charge... I could even throw on my uh, other charger still. There's not as much sunlight maybe as I need. Pretty sunny day though. So uh, the next thing would have been to try and get try and get the BMS going on in the phone. So the the hardest thing I found was uh, getting it to pair up <laughs> so you have to set your phone to accept it and then of course you have to try a few times and it doesn't always work so right now at the top you can see connected to ant 24c now this one is a 24c now i got the other one in there which you can you can find as you can see it's 24s so I can hook up to either one now using whatever device I want in the same program. So anyway, once you get hooked up, connected to, right, and you go into parameter one, oh boy. A lot of things going on here. I don't have enough hands. <laughs> okay, so parameter one. And there you are. And you can set all those in there. Just just like on this chart I showed you. And each one of those means something. And uh, you need a value for each one. Now I got it turned down a bit because I don't like it too high. But... Um, the main one is your equilibrium for your balance. 002, I need my 002. Some people move that. Then setting the system reference voltage. I got mine set 004, 
that sets your cell, individual cell. And then this 3595 sets a total pressure. So that's your total voltage. And you need a lot of playing around when you got two of them. When you get just one of them, it's pretty easy. So this one I have a 12S series there. There's your 12. And um, then your battery size. What's in the battery when you set it. So it was half charged when I set this one up. So I put in the value to keep it at half. Now, I gotta find that part and everybody gets wrong. Okay, this these balance limits are set the way they're supposed to be. So the balance limit is where you want to stop balancing. Now I just have it at 355 because that's as high as I charge. And I get it to start at 3.0. I like I like it to balance whenever it's out by the 002. So I set that at 30 low, so it has all that time to balance. Of course, it doesn't balance if, say, if you're charging over 15 amps and I'm charging 30 amps, so it's not going to balance. But if once it drops off to 15 amps, then the balance will start because it's between the two values there, 355 and 30. Now those are correct. There's two or three people say that, that, that they're wrong, but they're not. Those are correct and they work. Okay, well, I did a really bad job of trying to explain that, but... I don't say that I know everything, that's for sure. It's very complicated. There's an awful lot of stuff on there, so... Your, under, your over voltage alarm, is, of course, for high voltage, that's one it, and your under voltage alarm is as low as you want to take it. I don't want to take mine too low. So single over voltage protection is exactly that. It shuts down when it hits that. Or under voltage protection is the same way. It shuts it right down, not just an alarm. So your over voltage recovery is after after it shuts it off after it hits 355 on one cell and it won't start charging again until it comes back that cell comes back down to 3.5 and the same with the 2.8 I never go down that far so I don't know too much about that I don't want to go below 35 I don't even want to go that low but I have it set so that it has some room to move around. My charging over current protection is 50 amps. That's what I said. It's all over charge is 50 amps. The delays don't matter too much. I just leave them alone. Discharge over current protection. Well, it's like it's 200. I don't like too high of anything if I can help it. <laughs> All right, sister. So that's the way. That's the way it works. The hardest thing I found was to get it, the damn thing, the app into the. That's another thing I need to tell you. There's a whole about six different versions of that app, which I have all of them. But the one that I find works the best on the new phones is the VBMS. That one works the best out of all the ones I found. Now, I never set these uh, resistance at all. It doesn't seem to care. So after you get it in there, there's not much to it. You want to go to parameter two. That shows you what's going on, what's go what's open and what's not. It's charging, so uh, everything's shut down right now. Oh, I lost connection. Uh, I hate that part of this app. Every time you turn it around, it wants to disconnect on me. 
There I am, I'm hooked up now. Half the time when you turn it sideways like that. Ah, she went again. You can't win on that one some days. Each one of these are a little bit different. Each, each group and each, uh, like this first one from E and J, it looks the same and runs the same app, but it's not the same board at all. It's a totally different board than this one from, from Ant. So I don't know, we'll upgrade version, I guess. They still work pretty well exactly the same. Anyway, I think I spent enough time doing that, especially when I really don't know exactly how to do it. I'm still learning too, and that's the name of the game here. Okay, bye for now, folks. Well, I just turned my my uh, trip light off. It was charging along with the other chargers, and I see they both being under 15 amps, both of them. They're uh, balanced charging, just like I said. So, that's one, one way it balanced charges. It doesn't tell you that anywhere. That's the problem I got. At least I can't find it. And I'd like to know what the ba balance charge is when it's discharging, because it shuts right off, and I don't see how it should be a discharge balance, too, but... Oh, well, at least I know they work. <laughs> Getting close to the end of the day. Made 9 kilowatt hours on that one and 6.8 kilowatt hours on this one. Awesome. Thanks for watching.